Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Geeky Script. Today in this video I am going to show you how to install Notepad++ on a Windows operating system. And after that I am also going to show you how you can easily run a simple hello world html file within our browser. So do watch the video till the end, I can guarantee you will be learning a lot of new things about a text editor and all. So if you face any issues in middle you can always comment in our comment sections, I will try my best to help you. Now to install Notepad++, you need to first simply go to your favorite browser, you need to just open a new tab and you need to just simply type over here, Notepad++ download and hit enter. And you'll be seeing this notepad-plus-plus.org as your first search result. So you need to click on this download Notepad++ link and you'll be seeing that our latest version of Notepad currently is version 8.6.2. So this official site of Notepad++ link I am going to put right in our description so you can directly use that link to land over to this official site of Notepad++ and at the time of making of this video the version is version 8.6.2 so maybe the time when you will be watching this video you might see a different version maybe it's version 9 even so what I can tell you is whatever steps that I am showing on this video will be pretty much same alright so you don't need to worry and if I see there is a major change on the installation steps, I am going to make another video. Alright, so don't worry. So, you know, you can see latest version at the time of making of this video is version 8.6.2. So, you need to click on that. And here is our you know, download button. You need to click on that. And it's going to start downloading our Notepad++. So, here you can see it's rightly started downloading. So, once it gets downloaded, you can minimize our browser. We can go to our download directory and here is our you know notepad plus plus file so let's double click on the file to install it locally on our system and it's going to tell you that the app that you're trying to install is it a microsoft verified app so which is totally fine you can just simply click on install anyway so on notepad you know we'll ask you for administrative privileges just simply click on yes and uh, there you go you can see the installer language let's first minimize our you know download directory and here you can choose any language you can see there are a lot of languages right so from here i'm going to keep the default which is english and click on ok and uh, welcome to notepad plus plus setup just simply click on next so this is our license agreement you can always read this click on i agree and this is where our notepad plus plus is going to be installed so i'll be recommending you to keep this default do not change anything just simply click on next and these are all files that it's going to install so you can see plugins then functional list file everything auto completion file files so these are like the most important thing right so you, you need to keep everything default do not change anything just simply click on next so i'll be also recommending you to select this create a shortcut on desktop so it will you know create a sweet desktop shortcut over here you can directly double click on that shortcut to launch our notepad anytime just simply you know hit install and it could start installing our notepad plus plus and you can see that our notepad plus plus is rightly installed run notepad plus plus click on finish to launch our notepad plus plus so you can see it is rightly open and this is our welcome note so you can always read this i'll you know quickly close this what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a hell world you know html program so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to file and click on save as and I'm going to save this file as hello world.html and you need to you know click on the save as type to all type. So you can see now it is hello world.html and let's save this file in our desktop. So click on save. So immediately you can see that our file is rightly saved over here. So I am going to you know fast forward it so that uh, we don't you know make this video too long so here uh, what i have done is i have written a simple you know html code so this is our html tag then this is our head tag so within head tag i am keeping blank we are not doing anything so in our body tag what i am going to do is i am going to print hello world and within our h1 tag also i am doing the same and within our p tag that is paragraph tag also we are doing same so once I, you know, run this, you'll be able to see the difference of hello world, you know, the visibility, the size and everything, right? So don't worry. So just first save that and you can minimize this. So here, remember, we have saved the file in on, on our desktop. So let's double click on the file and you can see the output, right? So if I open code, 
so you can see that within body tag when we, we have not used any tag so that time the font is you know on the size of the hello world is like this when we put under an you know, h1 tag that is our heading tag you can see it is you know big whereas on our paragraph tag it is you know pretty much same as the first one right so yeah basically i just wanted to give an overview about notepad plus plus you can also deep dive into more into plugins you know macro and all that and you can use the entire features of notepad plus plus as well so yeah that's pretty much all about this video thank you very much for watching this video i have also started geeky syntax channel so if you're interested you can also subscribe this channel as well so here i'm going to regularly post coding related videos and you can also subscribe our geeky script vlogging channel so that's basically all about this video thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all